SQL Century version 6 has introduced several new features, especially in the areas of problem query identification and optimization. You'll notice a couple of new charts here on the Performance Advisor dashboard, one for bookmark lookups and forwarded records, and another for backup and restore activity. If I want to investigate some problem queries, I can drag and drop to highlight the time frame where I see those metrics and use the jump to menu to jump into the query plans view. The query plans view provides a complete history of all the query plans that were collected over the time frame that you selected here. I can see several statements that actually had bookmark lookup operations and I can select the view button to launch the query analysis for that particular query plan. When I launch the Query Plan Analysis view, you notice a plan diagram similar to what you get with the native tools, but with several enhancements. First of all, we're color coding the nodes by the high cost operations. So regardless of the size of the plan, I can easily spot those high cost operations to more quickly troubleshoot the query. Other features enable me to select cost just by I.O. or just CPU in addition to the total. Uh, some other features are the line widths, not just by rows, but by data size. So regardless of the number of rows, the actual amount of data being handled by these operations is easily visible. Let's take a look at another query plan to investigate some additional features of this view. Beyond the per node cost, that's the default when you open the plan diagram, I can view a cumulative cost for these nodes. So if I'm dealing with a plan with multiple branches, I can easily see the branches and sub-branches that I want to focus my attention where most of the overhead is occurring. Notice the statements tree pane at the top of the view. It provides a lot of useful information. The query that we're currently investigating isn't just a random query that ran against this server, but actually is the result of a while loop with multiple inserts kicking off nested dynamic SQL to produce that query we can provide the intelligence to put the entire stack together and show you those details and identify that one query that's responsible for the bulk of the cost of all these operations. There are several new features in the top SQL view as well. With the completed queries that have always been provided, you'll notice we now have the view button to launch Plan Explorer to investigate the query plans on a query by query basis. The new running queries pane at the top of the view shows you queries in progress as soon as they exceed the thresholds that you define. So you can quickly identify if any queries are currently running that might be contributing to or being impacted by performance bottlenecks. There's a lot of new information in the disk space view. In addition to the file size and percent used information that we've always provided, you'll notice auto growth settings, where we actually will highlight suboptimal auto growth settings, along with a wealth of information about virtual log files. Too many virtual log files can lead to performance issues for any operations against that database, and typically a result of suboptimal auto growth settings. So we can show you how many VLFs you have for each log file, as well as the number that will be created with each auto growth event. I should mention auto growth events themselves are now detected and shown in the top SQL and event manager calendar views. This in addition to backup and restore activity where we can identify potential issues there. Finally, a bunch of new reports are available under the Reports menu item on events like blocking, top SQL, and disk and file space usage, including reports specifically for virtual log files. New reports are continuously added with new releases of SQL Century. Well, that's a brief overview of the new features that were introduced in SQL Century version 6. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at sqlcentury.net.